Hi, where are you crooked? Hello, how are we all? Good morning guys, um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Is that my new intro? Maybe, who knows. I, I had the spontaneous idea to film a what I eat in a day as a vegan video. I've already done this once last year, but um, I'm hoping this time it'll just be better because I feel like I've, my like skills, my editing skills, my filming skills, everything has changed and now I have tripods and stuff. I actually have equipment now. If you hear crunching and stuff, that's my cat eating his biscuits in the background. But anyways, it is 10 to 10 in the morning and it's Monday. First day of the week, fresh start, fresh start to the week. I just got back from work. I do dog walking, so my shifts are very spread out and awkward. But um, I just went from work and all I've had today so far before I left for work, I had two cups of tea. That's it. Now I'm back. I have my third cup of tea of the day and it's not even 10 yet. And then I'm starting off with this Velveeta breakfast biscuit. It's the hazelnut chocolate one, which is just, it's vegan, like, by chance. If you know what I mean, like, it was just created and it's vegan. There's nothing in it. There's no dairy in it, no eggs, nothing like that. But the only reason it doesn't say vegan on the packaging is because, for allergy reasons, um, in case, because it, it may contain traces of milk and stuff like that. Because it doesn't mean there is milk in it. It's just to cover for any allergies, in case, you know? No money is going towards any animal exploitation. My big boy Zane. He doesn't like being carried, but I love him. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, these are vegan. They're hazelnut chocolate ones. Not the chocolate chip, but the ones with the hazelnut chocolate inside are vegan. So next time you go to buy the Belvita, just go for the hazelnut one. Like save the cows. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, anyways, I'm starting off with this and my tea, and I'll probably have like three more cups of tea and then I'll have breakfast. So I mean, this is kind of breakfast, but like not for me. I'm not having this as breakfast. I'm having more than that. So yeah. Look at me exposed. My hair's up as soon as I stop filming. I can't help it, guys. If you've wa if you've been watching me for a while and you watch my vlogs, you know I just can't. I don't like my hair down. Like I put my hair down when I'm going out. That's it. If I'm in the house, my hair is up. So if you see my hair down and I'm at home in a video, just now I'm doing it purely for you guys, so you don't get to see this when you um go onto YouTube because that's a bit rude. Anyways, I haven't even opened this yet, but I'm just just saying, if you thought this was just a, I only film when I'm eating, you're so wrong. Like, of course I'm gonna have some chit chats in between and like catch up with my little family, my little gang. What Netflix stuff do you recommend? I'm about to put on Sex Life. I've already watched Sex Life season one, I loved it. And now season two's out, so I'm watching that. And I'm always watching, let me show you. This is my current list. Friends is always there, there's Sex Life. To what to handle, I'm not actually watching that. I just got bored in Nottingham and put it on, but I haven't watched it since. You, I loved the first couple of seasons of You, and then the, not the, this new season, but the one before that, I finished it, but I didn't really care about it or like it as much as I like the other ones. So now I can't even be asked to watch this one, but I tried, but I don't think I will. And Teen Wolf, Teen Wolf, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be 23 this year. Teen Wolf is banging. You cannot tell me otherwise, I love Teen Wolf. I think it's sick. I just love it. I'm always a wolf girl. Wolf over vampires, always. But if you have any Netflix recommendations, let me know, please. I would love to find some new stuff. I mean, my list, the stuff on my list, my list is endless, but I haven't managed to watch most of it. But there's so much on there. Just let me know if you have any, any recommendations. Thank you. Okay, I'm kind of cold. Probably because I'm not wearing any clothes at this point. But I'm hungry now. I'm hungry and I suddenly feel kind of sick. I don't know why. I think I need to drink some more water. I'm going to fill up this cute little water bottle I have. It's got doggies all over it. I'm going to fill that up with water. And I'm going to keep refilling that all day. And that's going to, like, you know, just to drink water all day. Because I'm so bad with drinking water. Like, I really don't. I, n I don't drink enough. There we go. Perfect. So guys, for breakfast, I'm so excited for breakfast. Oh my God. So as you may or may not know, I don't really like breakfast food. What I've been going for recently is like plain Weetabix with oat milk, like the little Weetabix with oat milk and then with maple syrup on top because it needs to be sweet. I can't have it unsweetened. But I don't like cereal and like I'd rather not eat that. So I went shopping, I went food shopping the other day. I went to Morrison's. I bought this vegan cheese, which is the best vegan cheese ever. I feel like you're crooked again. Oh, you might be crooked. I don't know. I don't know if you can even see me. I'm scared. Anyways, I bought this vegan cheese. This is from Biolife. It's the Epic Mature Cheddar. 
This is the best vegan cheese I've ever tried. I used to be really fussy with vegan cheese. I, I used to not like any of them because I wasn't used to it. But then I realised I was just being dramatic, same way everyone is at first, and they literally are all fine. Like now I can eat any vegan cheese, but this is my favourite, my go-to. So I bought this and I also bought some of the vegan ham slices from corn. In my house, there's me, my sister, mum and dad, and me, my sister and mum are all vegan. So um, we, we know we eat a lot of vegan food, obviously, and we know a lot of vegan brands. Corn is like the worst one. First of all, corn is not always vegan. Like a, a, lot, of it is, a lot of it is vegetarian. But even the stuff that is vegan, like corn is the most basic brand. Everyone always goes to corn and then gets something that's shit and then just never goes vegan or vegetarian because all they've tried is corn. And then they don't ever bother trying anything else because apparently all vegan food is shit. But no, if you go for corn, you're not going to have a great meal. But, but, that being said, the corn vegan ham is my favourite. The, the, yeah, this is my, the only ham I care about. I, I won't try anymore because this is the best one. So... For breakfast, I'm having a toasty. For Christmas, James's boyfriend bought the fa like our family this. It's a toasty maker, and it's like the best thing we've ever had. All right, I'm gonna be using this bread. Yes, this high protein white bread. I don't like the smell of bread. Ah. Like literally, guys, I could eat this straight. I could eat this straight. I'm gonna make it as a sandwich and then like cut it in half. So I've got two, two bits, you know. I'm gonna sprinkle some of our B12 flakes. You can get these anywhere. I feel like I need to talk to you face to face for this. I've had so many random men, some women, be like, um, what about your B12? Let me just say this here. For anyone who doesn't know, it's okay if you don't know, but now you know after listening to me. B12 originates in the soil it's got nothing to do with animals the only reason animals have b12 in the meat that people eat is because they eat grass and they eat things that come from the soil b12 literally forms in the soil by like all the bacteria and everything in there doing whatever the hell it does that's where b12 comes from okay animals are literally su supplemented with a lot of the nutrients that people think are in them naturally and they're not so i don't want to hear it Anyways, I'm gonna be putting in these B12 flakes because everyone should be, regardless of what you eat, everyone should be supplementing into their diet just for optimum, you know? Supplements aren't bad. There's an, another misconception around supplements being like bad or unhealth, unnatural, but it's literally not. By having supplements, as in just like pure, pure supplements, all you're doing is instead of getting the nutrients through food, you're getting it from the direct source. That's literally it, that's all you're doing. So it's not bad. So don't be afraid to supplement, put things in your food. Like make sure, go take care of your health. Like just get things into your food, you know? This, and then do a little cut. There we go. Lovely. Look what I bought guys. If you've never tried the Vivira salmon or anything from Vivira, you are missing out. It is one of the best vegan, vegan meats and vegan fish, whatever brand that I've ever, Come across. I'm also gonna have some orange juice with my breakfast. 
some vitamin C. Orange juice is really the only fruit juice I like, which is annoying. Like everything else just makes me feel sick. Every because I I really hate squash and all types of like tropical juices and like pineapple juice and they just taste artificial to me. Like they just remind me of squash and I just can't. I hate apple juice. I used to love grape juice when I was a kid, but nothing more. I hate it. I don't like cranberry juice. I like pineapple juice. I don't even know what else there is. But I don't have any. Orange juice is the only thing I like. And I've only just of recently started to enjoy smoothies. My mum struggles to feed me. Like obviously I do my own food shopping every now and then, but like majority of the time it's my mum who does the food shopping. And she's like, Anna, I don't know what to get. Like, what should I get you? So I've got to give her lots of ideas and non-breakfast food is the way to go. That I'll eat if it's not breakfast food, which is not good. But anyways, I'm going to enjoy my yummy toasty. Honestly, I love toasties so much and I never used to be able to eat them because we didn't have I don't know how to make toasties. We used to make them in our grill, which is in my oven, but the grill scares me. I don't know how to work it, so I just never had toasties. But now we have our own little toasty maker. So exciting. Stay tuned for lunch. I'm so excited for lunch because we have a special partnership, which if you've already seen my last video, last two videos, you would know. I'm still so excited, so stay tuned. It's time for another tea. Any of you are wondering, the tea I, we have at home, this one, this is the best tea out there. The best one. But I'm also gonna be a little bit cheeky. I'll have a snack as well. I mean, it's been like an hour or something, like an hour and a half since I ate, so. I stashed my crisps upstairs, upstairs because my family likes to steal them sometimes, but I'm having some French fries. Buzzing, I love French fries. What are your favorite crisps? I love French fries a lot. And um, flavor wise, I either, I'm, I love really salted. I know it's plain, basic, if you will, but I love it. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed right now. My stupid dressing gown sleeve got stuck on this and just flung all my rings and belly rings all over the floor. Anyways, yeah, they're, they're pretty my favorite crisps of them all. I love them. Sorry, I forgot to make an effort again. Hairs out. Sorry for this terrible angle. Are you guys a tea or coffee person? Oh, I'm definitely tea. Definitely, definitely. I'm filming. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, say hi. Get the pan, move on, and get the pan. <laughs> I'm doing a what I eat in a day as a vegan. I'm doing a what I eat? What, what I eat in a day as oh. a vegan video. Oh, nice. I had a vegan dinner the other day. That was very nice. And you don't like mushrooms. I don't get that. Yeah, Dad, we went to a restaurant the other day and Dad got had a mushroom ale pie with oh, wow. chips. That was he nice. loved it. I yeah. tried the gravy of it, it was so good. It was a vegan dish. I tried the gravy, but I don't like mushrooms. Oh, one of the best meals I've had ever. Anyway, so I've come back to my little cave. I'm going to be drinking my tea, eating my crisps, and watching YouTube. Alright, guys, I've just made another tea. And Jada's boyfriend came over just now to drop mum some like, little Mother's Day presents. It was Mother's Day yesterday, but he didn't can make it yesterday. So he dropped over some flowers, a bottle of jam shed wine, and then these chocolates. And that reminded me that I have chocolates and I'm going to eat some right now. But I thought I'd give you a little vegan chocolate haul to show you how much there actually is. And this is literally not even 1% of it. So these two are mine, these are from Tanya, she got them for me, so cute. And I'm really excited to try these. And these are like a vegan chocolate brand. I've had this one before, so good. I literally love it. I haven't tried these two, but I can't imagine them not being nice. Well, actually I don't like orange, but I don't like orange chocolate, so I wouldn't like that, but these are really nice. These are literally in any corner shop you go to or like supermarkets, like they're, they're everywhere. So just try them out, but I'm gonna have, I feel like I would prefer this one. So I'm gonna finish this one first. I think that's logical, I'm not sure. So I've got this with my tea. Everyone says I'm really lucky. Like everyone in my house says I'm really lucky because I can just eat, eat, eat and not gain any weight. But if you're a slim girl like me who's always wanted to be bigger, like always wanted to gain weight, you know that's not really a compliment. I know they mean it as one, but it's not. Little reminder that doesn't matter what anyone looks like. Doesn't matter if you can gain weight easily or if you can't gain weight or you can't lose weight. You're not the only person that's unhappy with your body and someone who you might think looks perfect doesn't believe that they're perfect and vice versa. So like, there's really no point to compare yourself to others or say you're so lucky you can't, you're so lucky you don't gain weight because to some people like myself, that's not actually a good thing. 
because I've always, always wanted to be bigger than I am. I've always wanted to have more muscle than, than I do. And I can't, I, I don't know how to gain weight. I've, I was even skinnier before I was vegan, before anyone tries to say it's because I'm vegan and deficient in protein, I will lose my shit. It's not. I was skinnier when I used to eat meat. And then as I've grown and like as my body's matured, it's it's gone into more of a slim, like a slim build. But I can't get any, I haven't changed in like two years and I like nothing I do changes anything. I tried to go gym for a bit, but it just wasn't for me. I really didn't enjoy myself at the gym, so... And that's okay, like, I said this before in another video, you don't have to enjoy the gym. Anyways, just thought I'd throw that in there, because I know how hard it is sometimes to not be happy in yourself and all that stuff, but moral of this rant was don't compare yourself to other people, or try not to, and don't sit there and think, oh, she's so lucky she doesn't gain weight, or she's so lucky she she's slimmer than me, or she's so lucky she's got a bigger bum than me, or bigger legs, or whatever, bigger hips, whatever, it doesn't matter doesn't matter what other people have because you don't know if someone's actually happy. Like most of the time people aren't happy with themselves, which is the sad truth. I wish we all were, but. So anyways, now I'm gonna shut up and eat and I'm gonna have Zayn right here watching Monet. This is a video I've literally watched like four times already. It's a massive like closet purge. I just love it. I love closet clean out videos and stuff. And look how much water I've drunk. I hardly drink any water, hello. I'm gonna keep refilling this all throughout the day. so cute. You're cute girl. It's now 20 to 5. Um, I haven't actually eaten a meal, a meal since my toasty. So it's time to make the next meal of the day. A very late lunch. But first I'm going to give my kitchen a little tidy because there's some washing up and stuff. So quick little transition. Three, two, one. And done. So everything is now washed up, put away. And I've got all my little ingredients out for what I'm cooking next. So, guys, I'm going to be making these pancakes using the Slender Pancake Mix from Protein World. Which, by the way, Protein World was so kind enough to send me stuff. And I actually have a promo code for you guys to use for 40% off. Make sure to select one-time purchase instead of subscription because then my code won't work if you keep it on the subscription one. But yeah, so this is what I'm going to be making today. So I've tried this flavour before and I absolutely love it. And in fact, I actually have a whole other one up here unopened. I also have uh, an opened vanilla protein shake. And I'm going to be sprinkling these into the pancake mix, one of these. Remember my chat earlier about vitamins? Yeah, Protein World do multivitamins. These are vegan, obviously. Everything I've ever got from Protein World has been vegan, but they're, it's like a massive brand. There's things that aren't vegan and there's things that are vegan. But as always, I'm promoting the vegan side of it and I challenge you guys to try the vegan stuff because honestly, honestly, that you're not gonna taste the difference. Definitely try the pancakes first. If you're gonna go for a vegan thing, get the pancakes and get like some vitamin tablets or you can get like granola, like high protein granola or something like that. So first things first, get to my pan and also my mixing bowl. Right, this is the milk I'm gonna use. So this is Jada's, one of Jada's plant milks. It's like a special one with high protein. There's 20 grams of protein in each carton. So like this, a high protein plant milk with the high protein thing is like so much protein, that's so good. It's really simple. It literally says on the back how much of each thing to use. So four scoops of the pancake mix and 18 milliliters of milk. Last time I put a bit more milk in, like I put about a hundred mils. Oh no, I put about, I put about 90 mils of milk in last time just because it didn't seem like enough. So I'm probably gonna do a bit closer to 100 like that. I'll show you. There's there's my milk, literally just just below 100. By the way, I've opened my kitchen window because last time I nearly burnt everything down. Not really, but the fire alarm went off because there was so much smoke in here for no reason. So four scoops of the mix. You know what? I think I'm gonna just finish this packet. There's like nothing left in there, so I'm gonna finish it. There we go. Protein World, first packet of PR, whatever the hell you call it, finished. That's how you know I like it. There's powder all over my hands. Right, now here's my, my own little addition. Just to add in some extra health, I'm going to put in one of my vitamin tablets. So it's like those powder capsules, so I can literally just break it. And then the milk. Let's just mix that all together now.
I'm gonna be using coconut oil to fry it because coconut oil is really good for you. Move you a bit closer. I never know how many to make or like how big to make them. I kind of want to make one big one, but that won't go well, so I won't. Warning, I'm not a chef, so they might break and look shit, but believe me, they taste good. That's just a little pre-warning. Don't come for me. Oh my gosh, see how quick that is? It's already got like a really good solid underlayer. First one done. I think I'll just make two. We'll use the rest of this. Oh no, kind of ruined that. Oh shit. Right, I kind of ruined that one, but it's fine, it'll taste nice. All right, we're done. That literally took like no time at all. That was so quick. When they come in the home farm yard. This is the, um, this is the chocolate spread that I'm going to be putting on it, guys. The ve I'm talking to the camera. Oh, camera. The vegan one. Put a little bit on. What's wrong with that? Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, we're toast. Food, 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 food. Fashion! This here is called Nagi. I dare you to go and get some. It's absolutely venom acid. <laughs> Mr. Nagy, that's it. Mr. Nagy. Oh. Okay, there's my pancakes with my chocolate spare on salt. What? With my chocolate spare on top. I'm going to enjoy these with a cup of tea. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know when I next eat something. Dad's having some toast. And what are you having on it? I'm having uh, vegan fish. It's not vegan. And, oh my God, acid. Fish and hot sauce. Mr. Nagy. Very hot sauce. Go and check it out, people. It's burning. <laughs> what are you having for dinner, Mum? Bavera chicken breasts, baby potatoes, sweet corn, broccoli, salad. Yum. <laughs> Dad. These are so good. I can't wait to have this. I've had them in ages. These are really, really good, guys. Here's the salad. Mum's the reason, the only reason I get any sort of nutrients. <laughs> Here, yeah oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm so excited i filmed my first youtube shorts video today and i've, I've edited it but i kind of don't like the video at least it was practice on me using editing app on my phone because i literally didn't know how to do it but i practice on that video now so i'll either post that video if i end up liking it or i'll film it again but at least i've managed to practice anyways here's my dinner let me show you the inside oh look at that Guys, it's so good. This is honestly one of my favourite, favourite vegan chickens ever. It's got such a good, like, chicken breast taste. It's so weird, but it's so good. I also see so much and receive so many messages that, like, if vegans are so against eating animals, then why do they make everything taste like meat? Because, Stephen, we're not against the taste of meat. We're against eating meat. We're against the fact that to eat meat, you have to exploit and kill an innocent animal. That's what we don't like. We don't not like the taste. We don't like the meat. We're just people who put the life of animals above sensory pleasure. That's the only difference between me and you, Stephen. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so annoying. Just in case anyone was thinking of commenting something like that, don't even bother. Don't even bother. It's dumb. It's so dumb. Like, literally, use your brain. Use your brain. So, yeah, here's my dinner. The Vivira chicken breast, salad, baby potatoes, broccoli, sweet corn, all the nice seasonings. I'm so excited and I've got my bottle of water. So I um, won't end it right now in case I do have like a little after dinner snack or something. I'll just be here enjoying my, my din dins and, and watching YouTube or something. Cute evening vibes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to put a picture on the screen now. It was so cute. He was in my protein well box and he was having such a good time in there. I've made a decaf tea. Because if I drink caffeine too close to bedtime, I have the strangest dreams and I can't sleep. I've got this massive bag of walkers ready salted. So excited. I'm just going to be munch. I'm not going to finish this whole packet. 
well i'll try not to it's currently god i'm so sorry i know i look scary it's currently half 10 or 20 to 11 and i'm gonna do some editing probably this video or oh, i filmed a um night out vlog on friday but i'm not sure if it was good if it's good enough to post yet i haven't started editing it yet but i just have a feeling you know so yeah that's my plan for the rest of the night until i go to sleep and then back to normal week i'm probably going to nottingham this weekend so there'll probably be some videos around that time as well so subscribe if you enjoyed the video and join the little anna maria family join the group like let's chat let's catch up let's share stories let's gossip uh take a look at my other videos i do like weekly vlogs and like weekly vlogs is like my thing i love doing weekly vlogs but i'm trying to mix it up a little a little bit so i have a couple daily vlogs here and there some hauls if you enjoyed me and you think i'm you think i'm cool then do stick around subscribe don't forget to like and comment um let me know how you found this video like was it useful are any of you guys trying to be more plant-based if so please comment down below and literally i'll help you out with anything you need it will literally make my day so please don't hesitate to comment below if like you want to be more plant-based or vegetarian or vegan or flexitarian literally anything just just let me know we'll have a little chat about it hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys very very soon see you soon guys bye my darling i love you i love you i love you i love you i love you